uh, the first thing I would uh, open some website like Google <sighs> yeah I'm typing google.com yeah and the first thing is having the keyword what do you want search such as the um, history about American word um, then the, the Google will show some information about this word and the first thing I will look some information in in the Wikipedia Uh, we can know some basic information from from this website and you can decide what information you want I'm researching the Amer America Civil War um, yeah from the Wikipedia I can know um, this war was fought from 1861 to 1862 to determine the survey of the Union or independence of the conf Confidency And then when I know the basic information about this word, I will choose some um, history website and read some read some primary resource about this word. Okay, and then I click on a uh, uh, history.com and I can see some um, primary information such as the photo took from this word okay Okay, and then we click on the photo there is there are some some words description words out sorry just read you and some description word about this photo Okay. Mm. Uh, and I would read the whole article and catch some catch some key information. Mm -hmm. Maybe this article is very not, or oh, it's not very useful. So I would, I would um, search another keyword like um, like civil war facts. On the 10 facts you should know about the Sailor World. Enter the website, we can see the different facts, such as fact 1, 
the civil war was fought between the North and South states from 1861 and 1865. Oh, you also can know that Lincoln was the president of the United States during the Civil War. That's great. I never know this information before I search in this. Okay, we can see Lincoln group grew up in a long camp in Kentucky. Uh, wow, it's near to Ohio. He worked as a school keeper and lower before entering the policy in 1840s. Mm. Wow, this is really interesting. Yeah, after you found your your information, what do you want? You you should keep the website, um, the address, and because when you doing your paper, you have to cite cite this information. Mm. Yeah, in my country, citation is not um, it's not important, but in United States, this is very, very, very important. And in my English 109 class, the teacher always focus on citation. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we also find some. Surprising Civil War Facts 10. Okay, let's read this article. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Besides, I would search in my, um, searching the keywords on Google, I also would Searching the keyword on Chinese website like Baidu because in different website we can get different information mm -hmm. and also type in the keyword civil war okay American city reward in Chinese is called Zhan. Okay, it's one of the biggest words in America. Okay, in Chinese website we can catch some uh, catch more primary image. Also know there's there's a song called <laughs> Civil War. It's interesting, right? Mm -hmm. Back to the Google. My history class was asking me to um, searching a, a, a people in civil war who was who was a soldier. So I may searching his name like uh, civil war Tony. Uh, 
kid yeah lots of tawny and we choose one of them like Tony Stark and kick long this thing mm -hmm. What's wrong with? <laughs> we can't get any information about Tony, so I may change the. Like I will, um, search in the. Tony Ohio. Ohio. Just more detail about this guy. Because he's from Ohio, then the website information will show um, more details about this guy. Okay, we, we can see in the uh, 100s Richmond, Ohio Infantry, we can see um, Tony's uh, personal information. Okay. Okay. Yeah, when I'm doing my project, I, I will um, search in the details. If you can, uh, if you if you search your project's um, title, may you can you may can get the useful information. Then you should um, search in the detail about the project, like um, person's name and the. Hometown, where's from, or some some keyword like the infantry. Because there are a lot of Tony in this word, you know. Okay. Then, uh, keep open this website and. When you finish your paper, you have to cite it. <laughs> okay. And the professor also would ask us to write something about this guy. We can get a lot of a lot of story about this guy in online, but um. Uh, we can just copy it because it's it, it's illegal in America. I think <laughs> we have to write this in own in our own word and citation. Okay, let's make an example. Tony, Tony. There's um when you want you some photos from website you also need to cite it. Yeah, there's some rev relevant photo oh there's some photo related with my project. I won't use it. I also need to cite it. Okay.
and some website will show um, this person's family tree mm. click on this website we can know his brother his parents okay let's view recall <laughs> Okay, we can see a lot of Tony. Um, there are some ori origin place they from, um, which is Ohio and okay, Tony, Albert Tony, and click on this person's name. We can see the whole family tree. Um, if you want, uh. If you want to get more information about this guy, you also can search uh, his family name. Maybe you will get some information. Okay, I know um, his father is called um, Tony Scott. We can search in the Tony Scott. Wow. Okay. Then we can see a lot of sorry about Tony Scott. It it may uh, mention his son, Albert Tony. Uh, 